I came to Richmond a little over a year ago with the intent of being support for the family and um, intended to pretty much be isolated. I'm a resident of Richmond. I've been here since I was 10 years old. I love studying. I need that drive to constantly be doing something. I have lived in Richmond for over 19 years. I enjoy uh, trips um, to Yosemite and I'm going to local parks here. I've been living in Richmond all my life. Uh, my favorite hobbies are listening and playing music. I like to eat food and hang out with friends. Um, I love horses. I moved to Richmond, San Pablo about 10 years ago. I really enjoy time like running or reading and writing. Uh, so I've been working in Richmond for almost nine years now. I uh, enjoy spending a lot of time with my with my family. I'm actually doing this program with my mom. I like to run. Um, I like animals. I tengo viviendo acá en la ciudad de Richmond 14 años. Me gusta mucho estar envuelta en las cosas de la comunidad, ir a eventos comunitarios, ir a las ferias porque ahí hay mucha información. Sentí que era una oportunidad que no debería de desaprovechar. Me sentía como motivada, no perdí ningún, ningún taller, no tenía motivo para fallar porque estaba muy conveniente la localidad, el lugar, el cuidado de niños, la comida. Me sentía como en familia que ya, ya tenía yo que ir a esas reuniones, a esas clases, porque era algo que yo aprendía algo. Tenía que aprender algo diferente, algo nuevo. Y yo siento que también di algo de mí. I think just growing and like being more close with the people, like we we became more of a family and it was like it was just always a every meeting was like a good learning uh, process. So I liked coming. I convinced myself that I wanted to do this. I, um, you know, the more I talked to people, I thought this is the program that I would like to be a part of, and so I did. <laughs> the effective communications class was really wonderful in the emphasis on listening and improving listening skills. I am more aware of the issues in my community, not just surrounding my community as a Latina, but also the other communities here in Richmond. It was very beneficial for me because I write everything down now. It is just like had a time management, like that was very effective. I also took away the importance of building relationships with other people within the community. A lot of the goals that I wrote down were on the vision board and what I did is I put it on my door. So like every day I look at it and a lot of goals that I put down has happened. Saving money was in the process, um, getting more gigs are in the process. One of my ultimate goals was to write and I wasn't writing about a year ago and that was like one of my passions. I have like about like 20 pages already written about like different stories. So to me, that's like progress on its own. One of my other important goals was that um, giving more information to people in the community or people in my church about the community. I really like the fact that it's a lot of different people from different backgrounds and ages, so I feel like I connected with um, other people whom I wouldn't normally have. Angelica, the coordinator, um, I feel like with her I was able to get a lot of support, um, like in a personal level, and just someone being there to hold me accountable for my goals. I built, you know, uh, friendships. Um, with all of the participants, uh, I would feel comfortable going up to them and starting, um, you know, discussions with them. Um, 
Elizabeth um, is like a great friend. I'm actually teaching her granddaughter drum lessons, which is pretty cool. Um, I love that. And um, Clarence made friends with him. Um, pretty much everyone, really. Uh, we all got close and we always say hi and talk to each other about life and it's been a great thing. Quinn is just such a dear, sweet man. He's he's young and he's old and he's so kind and considerate and easygoing and generous and um, uh, that's going to be an ongoing friendship. Everybody was talking about their names and where they came from. And it, I realized I just had a huge moment of overwhelming love and compassion and empathy for everybody in the room. I thought, I love everybody here. <laughs> I thought, wow, this is the kind of feeling that I wish everybody had about everybody. You know, this is what we're trying to grow. And this is what is present um, in the environment of this organization. created solely for the benefit of rich men. You, you might not know this, but it helps shape lives, it changes people, it really um, supports and nurtures youth and, and adults as well. Yes, it's a wonderful program. Um, one of the key components to um, the environmental movement and to sustainability um, is to get the youth engaged in nature and to teach them how to love nature um, and why they should love nature and unfortunately our society eh, you know has become um, a society where we are focused more um, on technology and, and individualism um, and so this program kind of takes you away from that environment and um, gets you out into nature and uh, helps you develop relationship with other people, which is really healing. I would say that YES is a program that focuses on building uh, leadership skills. It really helps uh, people in the city get more in contact. Not want to run away, but actually do something and take action in your city. Um, YES brought me back to community and gave me a bigger picture. And I'm, I'm politically active now. I'm going to marches again. I'm being the me that I want to be. I've come back to life. And I really believe that this program has, you know, the land has, the, the land has to be fertile to plant the seeds, but you guys are seed planters. And it was very effective for me. It's brought me back to life. So thank you so much for those of you who are funding this program. It's amazing. Mm -hmm.